Okay, Revelation chapter 9, verses 3 through 4, verse 15, and verses 20 through 21 says, Then locusts came from the smoke and descended on the earth, and they were given power to sting like scorpions. They were told not to harm the grass or plants or trees, but only the people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Then the four angels who had been prepared for this hour and day and month and year were turned loose to kill one third of all the people on earth. But the people who did not die in these plagues still refused to repent of their evil deeds and turn to God. They continued to worship demons and idols made of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their witchcraft or their sexual immorality or their thefts. Now, I have a confession to make. I know this is going to sound strange coming from a pastor, but here it is. I'm not particularly fond of the book of Revelation. Now, before the criticism begins, let me just clarify. Revelation is scripture. Revelation is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Revelation is given to us as part of God's plan. Revelation is truth without any mixture of error. I get it, I know it, I affirm it. I didn't say I don't believe in it. I said I'm not really fond of it. It's not my favorite book of the Bible to study, and I doubt it ever will be. After the first three chapters that focus on the faithfulness of the church, and chapters four and five, which focus on the glory of Almighty God and the Lamb that was slain, we have 13 chapters of plagues, judgments, death, and hell. Now, God uses all of these to continue his call to repentance. He is calling people, even then, in the book of Revelation, he's calling them to repentance. But Revelation clearly indicates that the unsaved will not listen. No matter what God does, the people refuse to repent. It says that over and over. I think that's why I'm not too fond of the book. I know God and his followers will win. But I also know what or who will be lost. And that just does not excite me. But it does challenge me. I know what's coming, and I need to do all I can to share the gospel with those who have yet to believe. Pray with me. Lord, I believe your word. I love your word. I love that you share your heart with us. Lord, but there are parts of your word that are tough. I'm just not really fond of the book of Revelation because I know what's coming and I know what's going to happen on earth and I know what's going to happen to all those people. And I, I know that there will be so many millions and billions of people that will refuse to believe regardless of how hard you reach out to them and try to share with them your grace and forgiveness. There will be a time where you you call all these things to account. Lord, I'm not fond of what's going to happen. But I do know that you have challenged me through it. Challenged me to do a better job of sharing the gospel. And Lord, I pray that you would help me to do that. Help me to use this Christmas season to share about the love that you have and the desire to save us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. See you again tomorrow. God bless you.